Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours are... Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape it all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Incendio! Bombarda! Expelling armors! Incendio! Even more aggressive than I'd expect. Expelling armors! Confringo! Incendio! Expelling arms! Confringo! Bombarda! Potato! Stupid one! Incendio! Confringo! That's the last of them. Incendio! Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. Mary was breeding these things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Incendio! Revelio!
Revelio. If this is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Oh, this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Exacts. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. Bombarder! Incendio. That is going to find parents. <laughs> Rebellio. Bombarda. Rebellio. Bombarda. be destroyed. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Rebellion. Confringo! Bombarda! 
spider sacks. Well, you had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. 
It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. <laughs>